YouTube, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So today I was driving down the street listening to old school R. Kelly, When a Woman's Fed Up. And my question was, when a woman's fed up, is there anything that the man can do about it? I personally believe yes. Stay tuned for that. This is for the fellas that know they have been straight messing up. Just straight messing up. Don't even matter what you've been messing up with, but you know you've been messing up. She didn't call you on it a couple times, or maybe even multiple times. She might even got to the nagging stage with you, and she has gotten to the point where she basically has either given you an ultimatum, like get your stuff together, or we're going to split, or you can see that things are different with her, which is she's no longer nagging you. And let's just give you a side note. If she's not nagging you anymore... It's because she's pretty much gone. So, now let me get back to it. What things could the man do to make sure or to basically just turn the relationship around a thousand percent? Okay, so the very first thing that you have to do, fellas, if you really want to save your relationship and you just don't have any clue on how to get things back on track. First of all, you have to make a decision that you want the relationship to work with said woman make the decision the next thing the very next thing you have to do is put actions action steps action steps action steps first action step that you have to do you gotta sprinkle dust it off wash it off mm, mm. that's pride you gotta get rid of that pride you know that you done messed it up so now it's time to fix it you got to get rid of your pride. The second thing, I'm sorry, that's the second thing. The third thing, you have to know that because you messed this thing up so bad, it's going to take some hard work to get it back in your good graces. It's going to take some hard work to get it back in your good graces. But it's all for the betterment of both of you it's all for the betterment of um maybe you have children together so the family life it's all for the betterment of the good for both of you it's not it's not or no longer is it going to be a one-sided thing so hard work it's going to take some hard work in order to get back into the good graces with your lady the next thing is you have to be willing to answer questions i know men have a hard time with feeling like they don't need to answer their ladies questions and that you know i can do whatever i want to do you either gonna deal with it or you're not and then for some reason y'all have a tendency to wonder why things ain't working out <laughs> like to me it's just like really it's not working out because you can't expect to be in a relationship with another person and not answer questions and i'm not i'm not talking about just like the general questions how old are you what color do you like etc etc i'm talking about the tough questions why did you do x y and z why was you here with x y and z why did you do this to me you know and and fill in the blank you can be more specific obviously but you have to be willing to answer the questions the tough questions and not with superficial um, surface answers. You got to dig deep. It's going to hurt. But just think about this. You already hurting her now. So getting the truth out is actually going to help you versus hurt you. It's going to hurt in the moment. You're going to see her face just go from, man, he's deciding to get it together to... Well, damn, this would have been doing. But in the long run, your conscience is going to be clear and your relationship is going to start to turn around. Your trust is going to start to be regained. Right now, it's not. It's been so much division at this point. Again, you at the point where she fed up. And you have no idea how to turn this thing around. So just think about that. This is the point that you're at. So you want to make her know 
how much of a priority she is, how much of a priority your relationship is, how much of a priority the state of you guys health, specifically health, healthy relationship is. She has to see it. Actions speak louder than you just da 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 Actions. Actions behind your words because words are just that. They mean nothing. They don't. Um, one of the last things that you have to realize and understand is that you have to be very transparent. You have to know that there are still going to be moments where the trust is not going to be there. But you have to take responsibility for why the relationship is where it is. Because you've been messing up. Now you're trying to fix it. You've been messing up no matter what you've been doing, no matter what the complaint is. Everybody goes for cheating, but it ain't only just cheating in relationships. It doesn't have to be cheating. You could be doing some other stuff that she asked you not to do. But because you're the man, or you try to be sneaky, I'm going to do it. She ain't going to find out. Guess what? We always find out. <laughs> it don't even matter how long. We always find out. Unfortunately, love y'all. Men, y'all always get sloppy. Always. You get comfortable and you get sloppy. But that's another story. Let me get back to this. To summarize all of this, if you want to fix your tumultuous relationship, the haywire in your relationship, if you try to get away from that, that crooked road and you want it to be smooth sailing again, flat, straight, you're going to have to do these things. I'm going to run through them real quick. Know that it, you have to make up your mind that this is where you want to be. Stick to your decision that you're going to make this work. Next, know it's going to be some hard work. It's going to be some tough times ahead because you messed it up. And I'm not saying that she was perfect. Don't don't even, you know, start. What about her? No, we're talking about you. We're going to stick to the facts and talk about the men today. So the next thing, make sure that uh, you got to get rid of that pride. You have to answer all of the questions. Be transparent. Be open. Be honest. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. She probably going to be crying. You probably going to need boxes of tissue. You might be sleeping on the couch or she might be sleeping on the couch for a couple days. Hey, you might already be there. But if you truly want things to turn around, you're going to go through the hard work. You're going to do the work. Because one thing's for certain, we all do the things that we really and truly want to do. So if you truly and really, really, really don't want to lose this woman, you're going you're gonna to tighten it up. You're going to suck it up and you're going to try to start repairing the relationship. But that's the only way you can do it. You can't continuously um, not address any question that she has. And this is a bonus tip. A bonus tip for, for my fellas out there is to make sure that you just stop with the GP line. GP line is general purpose line. It don't matter what it is. For some reason, instead of you telling the truth, you have to lie about it. For instance, I'm not doing, I'm not calling said person, whoever it is. I'm not calling said person. But you really are. I'm not gambling anymore, but you really are. I'm not smoking anymore, but you really are. I'm not calling her to tell her that I love her. Or, you know, I, I might be taking it to the extreme, but you get you get the gist. You, can, you, you can't have it both ways. If you truly want this relationship to work, you have to forsake all others. Even if you're not married. If you're planning to get married, if you, you know, you, you want that uh, uh, marriage later on down the road, if you're not married right now, that's what you have to put into practice now. You have to show her 
she's your one no matter what that when tough times come and when outside forces try to attack your relationship you're gonna be right there helping her you're gonna be standing right by her side you're gonna have her back you're gonna be there all right fellas let me know what you think did i miss out anything give me a thumbs up of course um, share this with your friends. Definitely share it with the men in your lives that need to hear this message. There is absolutely something that you can do when a woman is fed up. If she's not gone outside of the door, literally outside of the house, you still got time. I'm telling you, you still got time if she's still there. If she's gone, you still might have time, depending, depending on the length of time that she's been gone. Trust me, if you're missing out on you're the one, or the one that might potentially get away, tighten it up. We were not meant to live alone. I know some people say that we were, but we weren't. We weren't created to be alone. We were created to be with our companion. All right. Love you guys. Deuces.